Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today, I'm looking a little bit extra and that is because today I am doing my Coachella Get Ready With Me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know this because I didn't actually vlog it for my YouTube channel. But I was at Coachella. I went there with Neutrogena and Nude by Nature. They sent me there with a group of my girlfriends and we had the best time ever. I danced to Beyonce like I was being paid by Bay herself to be there as a backup dancer. Eminem was incredible. Just the whole thing was so fun and the bunch of girls that I went with are amazing. They're just incredible. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not even know I was there. If you want to see all of my looks, makeup, outfits, everything from Coachella, even what all my girlfriends wore, go over to Instagram at Michelle Cross and underscore and you will see everything. So what I decided to do is to show you my skin and makeup routine that I used for Coachella. This look with this hat and top and everything was actually featured in Marie Claire over here in Australia and everything. I, this look went down so well, so I was like, oh my god, I have to recreate it for you guys. I was so pleased with how it turned out, because you know I'm quite a simple makeup wearer. I don't ever go crazy, but I just, like, fed off of everything at Coachella. I loved it. I loved wearing face gems. I love hats in general anyway. But I just, it, like, kind of lit a spark in me for creativity, and I adore it. I adore this look. I'll insert the picture now of the actual day that we're going to recreate. I do have different colored gems on, but it's all that I had to recreate. I didn't have the exact same ones again. But yeah, this is the look that everyone asked me to recreate. I will also tell you about the skincare I was wearing. And thank you so much to Neutrogena and Nude by Nature for sending me and my girlfriends to Coachella. It was the best fun I think I've ever had at anything. I just, I wish I could relive it again and again and again and again. Oh, it was amazing. Anyway, enjoy the video. <laughs> so I'm basically just gonna run through everything as if I was getting ready for Coachella today. So when we were in Palm Springs, we had photo shoots and stuff all day. So then we would go back to our hotel rooms before going to the festival about like six o'clock. And I would just shower and get rid of everything that was there from the day and start all over again. Oh my goodness, the air in Palm Springs really is deserty air. I've never experienced anything like that before. So my skin was so dry. I normally have like normal dehydrated skin, but it was so dry. So whenever I was um, coming home to shower, I would always use one of these bad boys in between going to Coachella because I knew how dusty the air was going to be that night and my skin needed so much hydration. So I would put them in my little fridge in my hotel room. This one has been in the fridge in my house. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Mask, Intensive Hydrating Mask, and it's just one of those sheet masks that you use after cleansing. I've already cleansed my face. When they've been in the fridge, oh my god, it feels so good. So this is what it looks like. A little bit serial killer like, but um, it actually feels so good on the face. So cooling and hydrating. And I'm gonna put this on, and then, oh, it looks so funny. So I'm gonna put this on, and while it's on, blow dry my hair. While my skin is getting all hydrated, it feels incredibly cooling right now. It's exactly what I need. My skin is really dry right now as well. So I'm gonna put this on. This is a look, this is a look. <laughs> I'm gonna dry my hair and get back to you. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so, and I've just roughly dried my hair and put it off my face. So I'm done. The mask. Oh, my fin. My fin. That's a word. <laughs> my skin feels so much better. So there's excess product left on my skin now. Kind of feels just like a serum, something like that. And I just rub and pat in the excess product from the mask and then once that's dry I can go in with the rest of my skincare. So next I'm just using a moisturizer before my makeup. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. It's nice because it's a gel texture so it's really good for underneath makeup. It won't make your makeup like slip off but it will still hydrate the skin. Even though the air is really dry in Palm Springs, my skin will be dry but I also don't want my base slipping off in the heat because it's super hot too. So you need a good balance of getting hydrated but not having too much of an emollient base on your skin. And then because it's gonna be super hot as well, I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face and Body Dry Touch Sunscreen, SPF 50, because I'm Irish, 
and I burn, I don't tan, I need my high protection. This is a nice sunscreen because it's just light, not greasy. Again, it's not gonna make your makeup go slippy slidey off your face, but it will protect your skin. It doesn't leave like a white cast on the skin either, which is great because you don't want like an ashy, ghosty looking face after SPF. I also use that on my arms and stuff as well, whatever part of my body is going to be sticking out. So for foundation, I want something really long lasting. So I use the Nude by Nature Flawless Liquid Foundation. I'm gonna mix two shades. I think the shades are W8 and W4. Yes, W8 and W4 because I was fake tanning during the trip. And I am now, I kind of am like in between shades. My neck is kind of gotten a little bit lighter but my arms are slightly darker so I will bring it down my neck as well. You know how it is for us fake tanners, I'm going to mix two shades. And I'm just mixing them together on the back of my hand. I'm just going to do one side of my face at a time. So I'm aiming for a full coverage look but thin layers just to make sure that it stays on the best. Yeah, the colour is not too bad, I'm just going to bring it down my neck as well. So you can see I'm getting some really nice coverage there, but I don't look full on caked up or anything. It's just covering my imperfections and evening out my skin. And I'm just using this flat top brush as well to apply that. Oh well, girl, my coffee has not kicked in today. Let me tell you that. I need like a jump start. <laughs> like you do with the cars, like the... <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit sick at the moment. I think I'm coming down with something. The weather has changed drastically in Sydney. It has gone from like 30 degrees to 12 degrees in the space of a week. And everyone is just getting so sick and body doesn't know what to do. And there's just such a dramatic climate change. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I forgot to zoom you in. Come here. That's a bit better. You can see what I'm doing. So there we go. And because we had lots of moisturizer and hydrating products on, you can still see a really nice glow in my skin. I'm just gonna quickly set my eyelid as well with the translucent powder. I have a nice big flat eyeshadow brush to do that. So I actually kept my eyes pretty simple during the festival. I just kind of went with a blown out shimmery, bronzy kind of look with liner and lashes. But yeah, I just kind of kept it quite simple. But then it's when you add the gems and stuff on the face that makes you look super done up. So I'm just using the Natural Illusion Eyeshadow Trio and I'm using this taupe shade in the middle. I'm just going to use that in my crease for some definition. So I'm just blending that into my crease and just winging it out at the end. I like to pull my crease colors and eyeshadow right out towards the temple and that's what's gonna give you that kind of elongated almond shaped eye. I really like how that looks. You can bring this up as far as you want or keep it as low as you want depending on your eye shape or your preference. It's up to you. Then, oh. <laughs> let's do that again. Then I'm gonna take the Natural Illusion Pressed Eyeshadow in the shade number four, Sunrise. I wore this I think pretty much every day. Just taking that on my finger really simply because it's a nice pressed kind of pigment and I am tapping that all across the lid. I like to use my finger because I just think it picks up the pigment really well and you can really stick it down there as well. If you want to grab your blending brush and just smooth it over the edge to make sure it's nice and seamless. Pick up a little bit of extra product if you want to. Blow out that bronze as much as you want. I kind of like to go for gold with it really, just woo, wing it out. Now using the Natural Illusion Pressed Eyeshadow in the shade Sunset. So I have Sunrise and Sunset on my eyes. That's cute, I didn't even realize that's what I was using. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this kind of like flat top brush to pack on color. I'm going to just add a little bit of depth to the outer corner. So just packing that on the outer V. And then I'll go in with the little blending brush afterwards just to make sure it's all blended in then just really softly with my blending brush just blending the two colors together in the center so you don't have that line and then just on the edge as well just softly softly don't want to disturb the color too much just making sure that it all blends 
in. Now just to clean up a little bit of the fallout, I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Micellar Water. This is the deep clean purifying micellar water and a little cotton pad and just swipe underneath the eye. There's only a teeny tiny bit. So just do it very gently and it will just make that outer edge a little bit more crisp as well. And then we can go in with our concealer. For under the eyes, I'm using the Flawless Concealer in the shade 2 Porcelain Beige. And I'm just going to, you know, do the huge bit of contour by doing a triangle under the eye. And down the center of the nose, chin, and middle of the forehead. I'm just going to blend that in with the concealer brush and then go over the top with my foundation brush. So just patting it in first and then I'll dab over with the flat top brush that we used with our foundation. Concealer is really nice. It's a stick formula, but it's very creamy. So it really works well on the face and the under eyes. You can use it to sharpen up the outer edge of your makeup as well. Yeah, so then with my foundation brush, just gliding over the top. Now I'm just going to set the face and under eyes with the translucent powder. This is just the kombuki brush. <laughs> kombuki, not kom I feel like I was gonna say kombucha there. Kabuki. <laughs> Okay, so back to the eyes. I'm using the contour eye pencil and I'm just going right into the eye with that. It's in the shade brown. <laughs> Simple. You guys know I like a brown liner most of the time over black. Just going right into my waterline and tight line with that. And also adding that to the top of the lash line to add some more definition. Just keeping it as close to the lash line as possible. You'll see from the picture that I had lash extensions on, but um, yeah, I don't have them on anymore. There's just a couple kind of left. They lasted really, really well. I'll put the place that I got them done in the description box. But yeah, I'll just use mascara for today or you know, you can pop on a lash with it, whatever you feel like is best. Now I'm just going to use the shade Stone, which is like a dark brown and the eye definer brush. And I'm going to use that over the liner on my lash line. I find this just kind of sets the liner in place as well. Now for mascara, just lashings and lashings of mascara. I won't bore you too much with the application of the mascara because honestly, who wants to watch someone put on mascara? It's like the most boring thing ever. And just drop the eyeshadow. Come back. So, mascara's on. Brows are on as well, just did them as I normally do, except for maybe just like a little bit more intense because, you know, Coachella, I'm wearing a hat as well, I want the brows to stand out. So yeah, just throw on your brows as per usual. Now I'm just adding that shade Sunrise underneath my eyes as well. I'm just using that on short brush to kind of pack it on and bring it right out. This color is so pretty. It's just like the most gorgeous, shimmery, bronzy, orange undertoned pretty thing. <laughs> so just pushing that in, winging it out. Oh, it's so pretty. Make sure I look real blue as well. Now I'm going to bronze up my face with the matte press bronzer in the shade number one. Oh, wrong side, Bondi bronze. Just using that on a big fluffy brush and just bronzing up in the usual areas. I like to go, don't drop it, don't drop it. Oh. Whew, that was close. Just across the temples, forehead. I'm wearing a hat, so I'm not gonna worry too much about the forehead. Just across the cheeks and under the chin. Using the contour palette and a mixture between these two shades, I'm going to take the Ultimate Perfecting Brush and give myself some cheekbone. Just dragging that upward. Same on the other side. And then just using my foundation brush or the big kabuki brush, I like to go back and forth over the edges because even though we want a strong contour, we don't 
don't want to look silly. <laughs> now for highlight, my favorite bit, I'm going to dip into both of these shades. This is the highlight that I had on my Instagram. Um, I put up a little video the day that I did this makeup just with myself highlighting and you can see it in that light. It looks so pretty. Highlighting that cheekbone going to town. This is the pointed precision brush that I'm using. Just a little bit on tops of the brows as well. You know the deal. Nose, crumpled bow. Inner corners as always, because I just feel naked without an inner corner highlight. So pretty. For lips, I'm gonna line with the defining lip pencil in the shade Rose. And then use Dusty Rose lipstick over the top. And because we're excessive around here, a little bit of gloss in the middle as well. <laughs> this is the gloss in the shade Tea Rose. So it's all from the Rose family. So that's the makeup part finished. As you can see, it's a pretty like normal bronzy eye makeup look. But what makes it different is the gems. These aren't the same color as the gems that I wore at Coachella because obviously I used those up and then threw them away afterwards because you know, they're only one use really. But um, these are from the Glitter Tribe and they're kind of like a similar shape to what I had here and here. They're green, so they're not the same, but I think they're still gonna kind of give you the same effect. I will link below the company that sent me all the gems. They sent me a big pack of like different kind of face gems for Coachella. Um, not sponsored or anything, they just were kind enough to send them to me. What's really good about these is that you look at it and you're kind of like, oh, I'm gonna have to stick on one gem by, you know, at a time, one by one. You don't, they're already together on a backing piece of plastic. So you just peel that off and put it on your face. So easy. So for lazy people like me who aren't the most creative makeup artists in the world, this is what you want for a festival. Can you see the way like the whole thing is coming together? How cool is that? Like it just makes life so easy. Then you just place it on your face. It's already sticky as well, but if you wanted to like make it more sticky, I guess you could put lash glue and stuff on it. So just like press it down and then we'll add the little under eye pieces. How good is that? Like it looks like I put in intricate work and time into placing gems on my face. No, I didn't. So I'll just quickly finish my hair, put on my hat, give you the whole finished look. Give me a sec. And that is the finished look. The top I'm wearing is from Sports Girl. The hat is from Princess Polly. It's a brand called Brixton. Such a good quality hat. I absolutely love this hat. I've gotten so many compliments on it. I just cannot wait to wear it again. I love it. You can see how with the face gems just sticking out, you didn't need too much of a makeup look. Like the makeup can be simple. You can use just nice bronzy eyeshadows, bronze up the face, gems and a hat you're done. You don't need to go too hard for the festival and you look like you made an effort, like a huge effort. So for the hair, I'll just quickly tell you, I basically just blow dried it and then I braided it down to, you can see here is open and here is braided. I don't have it secured with any pins or um, hair ties. I just half braided that strand and then hairsprayed it really, really strongly and held it in place for a while. So like, just kind of held it like this. And then when you release, the braid stays intact to here and the ends are loose. And I'll insert the picture now where you can really see how my hair looks. But a lot of you guys, I know you don't follow me on Instagram necessarily, like some of you just follow me on YouTube, so I'm just on Instagram. But if you wanna see how this look came together, the full outfit, everything at Coachella, you can follow me on Instagram at Michelle Crossan underscore. All of my content from Coachella is there. I didn't actually vlog for my YouTube channel, but there are mini videos, there are pictures, outfits, you'll see what me and the girls got up to. Everything is on Instagram, so go and check that out. And yeah, I hope that this helps you create your festival look without feeling like it's a huge task. It really, really doesn't need to be. I'll link everything that I said I would below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day and enjoy your festival that you're going to. Be safe. Put on some SPF, don't have too many drinks, and I'll talk to you guys soon.